This is a quick demonstration of uh, two things that you should stop in flash animations uh, and get a good control over the animation and how it plays and flows through. Uh, first of the things that you may want to get control over is how to stop audio, how to stop sound from playing when you introduce something. So in this particular case, I've got an audio uh, file. Uh, it's just some background music and it's called Arcadia and it plays right from the very first scene. And this is the very first scene here and I've got it built into the properties of this frame so it starts playing and plays right to the end of the scene. Now I do want it to play through the entire movie so I wouldn't normally want to stop it here uh, but if I did want to stop it before I went to the next scene or if it was a sound effect that I just wanted to stop here's the best way I think to get it to stop. You want to make a duplicate of this frame that has the exact same sound embedded in it and the easiest way to do that is to hold down the Alt key, hover over that frame and just drag it to wherever you want the sound to stop. Now, as I've done it right now, it's simply going to start playing the audio again and in fact it might even layer over itself and get really, really noisy. But here's how we get it to stop. Select that frame, the new one, we'll call this the stopping frame. It's loaded with the exact same sound but we're going to change its um, sync from event to stop and that absolutely shuts down that sound from playing at that particular point. And then just position that frame to wherever you want it. It would make sense at the end of a scene to position it there. And the sound will simply stop at this point and not continue. If you didn't want it to stop, Shift F6 will get rid of that keyframe and it'll continue playing into the next scene. Now, at the very end of the movie, after the closing credits, if you don't do anything to your movie, it's going to loop back when you get into Flash Player and play it over and over again. If we wanted to stop the entire movie, this isn't just the audio, this is stopping the entire animation from repeating itself, here's how you can make that happen. First of all, we need a frame, a keyframe sitting right here in the very last part of the entire movie, after the end, that will hold some action script. And I'm going to create a frame with an F7 key that simply puts an empty keyframe right there. Now you can hit your F9 key and that will bring up your actions or action script and actions palette. And to get the stop to work best, I choose to use ActionScript 1 and 2, and it gives me some nice, clean, easy controls. Under Global Functions and under Timeline Control, there is a simple command called Stop. Double-clicking it builds it in, and the location where it's built in is going to be whatever frame we happen to have been hovering over. So you'll notice now it has a little alpha symbol, which means that there is ActionScript in there, and the entire movie will now stop. So if I were to play this film, I've now stopped some sound, and at the end of the movie, I've stopped the movie. And that's all you need to know. Give it a try. See how you do.